So, do you still recycle your gravy? Really, nigga? Weston Chandler, uh, we have a few questions for you. So, first off, are you still on your love quest? Uh, yes, yes, more or less. Um, I don't get to go out of, out of the house as much, but I'm still very much looking for uh, my womanly, my woman's sweetheart. Yeah, definitely all woman, regardless. But anyway, um, yes. All right, and what do you think about the fame that Sonichu has brought to you? Yeah, fame, good, infamy though, not so much because of uh, all the drawbacks I've had. And the stress and the shock of all that over the years, each individual one kind of uh, still lingers in my head. What are some of the drawbacks? Um, it prevents me from uh, being able to uh, be more creative. It just... Uh, it's practically paralyzing, and I can't. And it's like it's hardly hardly able for me to help. Can you tell us more about the bear? What? The bear that gave you your name. Oh, you mean the uh, Leonard Bearstein? It used to be over yes. at Ritchie Square. Leonard uh, Bear. Yeah, Bear Conductor. The conductor. Uh, we told it. We said that he has he has me for my name, uh, which was Christopher at the time. And he misunderstood that the conductor behind the bear was English or British, something like that. And he misunderstood, called me Christian, and that inspired the first name change. So, have you heard of a uh, Sachumo? Uh, Sachumo, he's a YouTuber. He made a documentary about your life. Um, yeah, I have not heard of him. And is this that defensive documentary that? I keep hearing about. Yes, this is a documentary on YouTube. It has about yeah. half a million views. Yeah, I still have not watched it. Definitely should. It's pretty good. So what does like a normal day look like for you? Um, it's... I try, try to be as peaceful as possible. I tend to go with the flow, really. Um, and if I go out, I go out. If I don't, I don't. Um, right. And sometimes I'm on day schedule, sometimes I'm on night schedule, it just switches on, switches on me, my internal clock, it's fickle, it bothers me. Um, but typically, um, day, if I go out, I'd be uh, walking about, I'd be walking around, I'd be nice, I'd be friendly and nice to people, to, to, pe to people, with civil to the men and more, and more talkative to the women. Um, just being, just being normal and casual. And if at home I, if I feel like creating, then I creating, then I will end up doing that. Otherwise, for the which happens most of the time, I'll, I don't know, probably just binge watch a TV show on Hulu, Netflix, or something. What are some of your favorite shows? Um, well, um, some of my favorite shows. Well, I do like Seinfeld and uh, Friends. Big Bang Theory is okay. That's some more the uh, recent type of genre, but I, do, I also like Golden Girls and Frasier. Those are on the Hallmark Channel. Um, uh, talking about recent shows, but also recently I've binge watched through Hulu uh, and Netflix, Kill la Kill, uh, which I thought that was a good anime, all things considered. It had a really good story and all that. Huh, and, wa and Watamote, that, that was good also. Just I just feel like I could relate with uh, that the main character, the girl there. I don't remember her name at the moment. But also, it's just like she, she tends to overthink and socializing, and that's kind of like what I end up doing so far as, as well. Yeah. Uh, or have done, probably still doing. And it's habitual, overthinking. You know what? You're not thinking about it, yet you're thinking and you're not thinking about it. That's an right. oxymoron. All right, and you can anyway. and you consider yourself a transgender? Yes, I'm a lesbian trans woman. Still very much interested in women, and I'm going to the transition at least with the binaural beats. And uh, I'll also be I'm also looking into uh, the uh, HRT for real, and uh, and, if, and if not a natural transformation, then. If my uh, insurance will allow me, I have to re go through that extensive process, which that will be starting up soon for me, uh, then I will have the SRS. Interesting. So, do you still recycle your gravy? Uh, 
No. No, what was that all about? Because a lot of people were talking about that. Uh, that's a uh, public situation right now. I'd rather not talk about it, but yeah, let's just let's just leave it at that. I have not done that for years. Okay, it's good to know. Sorry, people were just asking about that. I had to bring it up. Um, Never ask that a question again. Just leave it at that. All right. Um, and a lot of people... A lot of trolls have tried to troll you. What? You Quit it! Don't try to stress me. Don't try to bother me. I'm an artist, and I'm trying. To, I'm still long trying to recover from all the stress and the shock since 2007. It's a very long and tedious process, especially in my mind. You would, I mean, I don't know. Y'all will probably not know, or you might know if you have your own family situations and you're stuck in your basements or whatever. But anyway, just. Just, if you're not going to be nice to me, if you if you have nothing nice to say, you have nothing good intended, or if you only have bad intended, just just don't bother me. I only respond best to uh, kindness and honesty and more and more to the point, face to face, in person. What do you think about uh, Encyclopedia Dramatica and their article about you? Uh, I'd rather not think about it, but essentially. I don't. I do not care much for it. All right, and you can. And you consider yourself a transgender? Yes, I'm a lesbian trans woman. Still very much interested in women, and I'm going to the transition at least with the binaural beats. And uh, I'll also be. I'm also looking into uh, the uh, HRT for real. And, uh, and, if, and if not a natural transformation, then. If my uh, insurance will allow me, I have to go through that extensive process, which that will be starting up soon for me, uh, then I will have the SRS. Interesting. Interesting. All right. Well, thank you for doing an interview with us. It's been, it's been an honor.